Boom. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Ocarina of Time. In the Fire Temple we are. So the game is has started really started to pick up pace now because I done most most of the, like the side quests and stuff as Kid Link, which is when you're duo. No, thank you. And in here, woo. Mmm, gold sculpture. Hey, my friend, you are free. So now it's much more streamlined. There's not that much content in between the dungeons anymore. Especially since I've been to almost every place in the world already, so I don't have to stop and do things in that way. Let me tell you a secret as a reward for releasing me. When you are on fire, you can put it out by swinging your sword, or by rolling forward. Did you know that? The rolling forward thing, yes. Swinging your sword thing, I'm not sure if I knew that or not. And up and another key. And we did see a locked door right outside, but I'm gonna go ahead and explore. This room is quite difficult to explore because of its sheer size and, well, boulders and stuff. Oh. Alright. Yeah. Thank you, Gold Skulltula, for showing me where you're hiding by making sounds. And... No. Okay, fine then. Yay! Super Link! Huh. And deal will go over here. We can't really get to the top of the... Ooh! I'm in a bit of luck here. With the boulders. Perfect. Anything here? No. Ooh. Oh yeah, that does not help. Eeh. Okay. <laughs> Another one here. Are you really sure? Yes. I'll tell you a secret. Yes. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When if those doors starts to fall, move. If you use a sample of the Goron special crop, you can break it. Yep. Only way to destroy the fake doors is the bombs. At least right now. It's another key! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so there, there is more to this room. We just need to get up top. Uh, but we can't do that right now because... Well, there's no way for us to get there. So this door. This door. Did we need to get both the keys right now? Ah, we did. No, well, yeah, actually we did, we did. Um, I was just looking at that one. Yeah, so this down below here, I believe the... Yeah, there's the bridge. Last episode I mentioned, like, oh, there's a hole in the ceiling. And there are different uh, floors, elevations. So yeah, down there is the fire bridge from the first floor. And, yep, there is even a floor above us. And I think I know exactly what room that is up there. Uh, oh wait! Oh, I'm now I'm confused here. Uh, there you are. So you don't need to go here from this side. You can actually because this is a little caged room, and you can get here uh, from up there. I think I'm not completely sure. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I think this is the map, which is nice to have. I was correct. Oh, oh, oh. And close it again. Thank you. That's that's very thoughtful of you. I don't really even get why that has to be a thing. Well, time to go into this room where we just were, but it's f from not in the gate. Which is on the other side there. Or not gate, I mean the cage. So this 
is a moment that to me as a kid, it's quite underwhelming now. But as a kid, this was quite like, whoa, oh crap, this is, ooh, this is dangerous. Uh, it was like very ten tense moment, this. Firewall. And it slowly moves towards you, but now it's like, okay, I, I don't really care that much. It does, I don't know if it like kills you or stuns you or something like that. It like, or resets the room like, you know, that. You just have to get up here and you're safe. Yay. And then it will move back or if, if, if or does it restart or something? Uh, anyway, if you go jump down again, it might come from this side or... Yeah, it restarts. So I think, yeah, you can go into the... And get the map from here, so... You don't even need to go through that room at all. Plump. And now we're up here. Yeah, so... Magic, we're not really gonna use that much magic in here. I mean, may possibly uh, Feror's Wind when I'm done recording, but not Din's Fire. We don't need to use Din's Fire in here. Yep, there is something that. <laughs> hey, Navi! Okay, I wanna... Mixie, I hear quorum voices down below. Uh, I don't, but... Sh whoops. There we go. Let's just blow it up. Anyway. You know what, I think, yeah, I think we're... We oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was too far. I think, yeah, this is just a shortcut to back to where we were earlier. Oh, The room where we first fought the torch slugs. Yep. So now we got a shortcut. Cool. Hello? Goron voices? This is just one Goron. Are you a listener? Yes. It's a tech for rescuing me. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron special crop. That's all I have to tell you. Actually, don't need that at all. That's not the way I fight them. All I use is the hook shot and the sword, obviously. Obviously, there aren't many fights where you don't utilize the sword at all. There are a few, like Octorox, Deku's, <laughs> everything in Jub Jub's belly. Okay, okay, okay. There are quite a few enemies that you don't need the sword for, but still. Oh, you're back. Great. Ooh! His stems. Uh, so, Mr. Button, how are we going to do this? Am I gonna jump over there? Yes, I am. Just to be sure, you know. The other jump, even. I, for some reason, it feels like I wouldn't be able to do it. Yay! All the way over there, though! I I have a feeling I can bomb here, but I don't think I can. No, I, I was right. I couldn't. Well, I could, but nothing happened. And... Ooh, I wonder if the boulder would have knocked me over even though I was above it. <laughs> Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. If you find a place that you can see on the map but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. Yeah, so I know exactly which place in this dungeon he's giving me a tip off. Or about, rather. That's a better word for it. <laughs> yeah, you will walk straight off that ledge. Doesn't really work with this cell. 
It is now. It is new key. Wait. Oh yeah, I, I was like, did I get two keys? Yeah, I rescued the Goron down below. Goron from down below. All those windows, it's a bit weird. It looks like I'm in some sort of labyrinthian city. This actually, even though it's opposite elements, like fire and water, this room kind of reminds me of the... Uh, oh yeah, you can play the Scarecrow song here and get up there. To get to that thing. Ooh. <coughs> Usual op optional things. Usually optional things. But this reminds me of the, uh, you know, Super Mario 64 wet and dry world. Like the underwater city that you can go to. The secret, the two last stars. But this is like a fire themed similar area. Whoa, that's trippy. Whoa. I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's just something about it. The way it's designed. So, whoop. Now we just have to... Oh, now the fire starts behind me. Yeah, because we came in through that door and started out on this side. Oh, no, no! Stop! Up here we're safe because it's too high for the flames. Oh, yeah, and this is the other side of that window pillar. The windowed pillar room? And this is... This is the room. Oh. Another one of those. And, oh yeah, you can come from above later. And this is... This is a room. That's a fake door, by the way. Let's, let's go greet it. So, here's another hole that leads to down below. You might be able to see what room that is. Indeed, that is, this is the pillar from above where we met the room. Yeah. So, this is a fake door. You can see because it's standing out way too much and there's nothing behind it. So, open. Whoop! Boom! <laughs> but you can kill them. With bombs. Poor door. Poor, poor... Oh! No, I think that's actually a... St oh, yeah, that's... That's... Oh, another one. I actually think we need to enter from this side. Just don't run too fast. They don't really activate immediately. Ooh. <laughs> too fast. No, nothing. Here? Here. No. I moved too fast again. And there's the second key. So this is the room that Goron was giving me a tip about, because there's no way forward for me. But if you look up here, or maybe this side... No, you, you can't seriously see it from below? Well, it is here, so let's just... This is the dungeon with the most temple of, like, or, well, time stones, Song of Time Stones. They're pretty much... Like, yeah, this is the second one. There's also one in Goron City. And these doors. The Fire Temple is very, very odd. Sticking out its tongue to its side, like... Whoa. And there's a button. But I don't think... Yeah, I can't hit that button. Not yet. We'll have to free you later, Goron, but at least now I moved the time stone. And I, I do need to go through here, because see, that is blocked, that is blocked, this one is blocked, this one is blocked, and and this one is blocked. So it's the only way to get to this side. Wait, I came through that door, right? So I didn't go to that... Well, we're coming back to this room anyway, so... No. Okay, and now it's gonna be... Those flames are gonna go out, so it's timed, I believe. Oh. Yep. Tip, 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 tip. No! Ah! <laughs> uh. 
And health. And on this side, more health, please. Thank you. Not that I'm gonna die without it. Uh, but it's... Uh, uh, it's miniboss time. Oh, is it? No, there's a fake door first. <laughs> That's the real door. It's a licky door. I, I actually have to end this episode here. Next time we'll fight the miniboss. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you then. Bye. Boom. Yeah. Episode's on. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Watch some videos. Boom.